Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today I'm going to be creating the most uninhabitable solar system so honestly I'm quite surprised that no one has ever suggested this because this could be pretty berserk. We're going to have objects that are extremely hot, extremely cold, ones with just generally challenging environments. We're in the latest update of the game where we have access to all of the new elements and composition so we can make some real sort of toxic atmospheres, things like that. You know, we, we can really, really go in depth with this customization now. So let's get straight into this. I'm thinking star-wise, I've already sort of thought of a plan. I'm going to use Deneb, quite a large, good white star to use for this. So where are we? Where's the... Let's get old Deneb. There he is. Right, so I'm going to place you there right in the center so if we just look at the star stats already 19 masses of sun it's almost 1 au in size already it's got plenty of luminosity to just scorch everything nearby so i think this would be a good candidate to make a very uninhabitable system around so there's its zone as well so we've got a very very big zone to work with so i think first of all it's got, we're gonna have to have some sort of absolutely scorched rocky world so i'm gonna go straight into the fresh objects here we're gonna go random rocky and we've got to have something that's going to be absolutely railed by temperature here. So if we press play, straight away this thing is going to be absolutely ripped to shreds. You can already see it's losing material. I'm going to make it a super effort, maybe a bit two masses, but I don't think that's going to really help it because it is right next to this absolute monster of a star. So let's actually look at its composition. So just a brief overview here. So we can give this guy any of these elements here. And this could be very, very useful for making some very uninhabitable, unimaginable worlds. So let's actually just let the simulation run. I want to see how hot this thing actually gets without any of our interference. You can already see it's already been shredded up. So what, what are we sitting at roughly at the moment? So we're sitting, okay, so alrighty. Let's slow things down. So it's still got its atmosphere, surprisingly. That's interesting. Oh, it does actually look pretty good like that already. I mean... To be honest, we've already made it. Just placing the object there has already made it just ridiculous. Um, in, I want to look at the stats here because this none of these planets should have any life likelihood whatsoever in this simulation. That's our goal. We want low Earth similarity and we want zero life likelihood on pretty much every single object because they shouldn't be having no life if they're only handable. There should be no chance of life whatsoever. So... Just looking at this guy already. It's already looking pretty horrific. I'm thinking maybe, yeah, let's go with the, uh... that looks that looks pretty pretty nasty already. Uh, we can change the color as well. Could have it as a two-tone, have it extremely red, a whiter shade. Because remember we got the ray light, this now has extra values to work with, so you can make a few more interesting combos. I do quite like the, almost the pink appearance. So it kind of reminds me of some hot objects in Space Engine that have blue atmospheres, actually. So I may actually stick with that, actually. I do quite like the blue mixing in there it kind of shows it may have formerly been something else but it's just lost it over time yeah that's looking pretty uh pretty wild uh, it takes 10 days to rotate i'm actually going to lower this i want it to rotate a little faster than that so yeah 1.34 days i think that's more of a good one but look how much material it's losing i mean that's not going to be that world isn't going to last forever but i think that's a good start we'll, st we'll stick with him i mean i'm thinking double fit clouds i mean it's going to be a pretty maybe storm actually double storm I think that'll be pretty wild. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, they're all switched up to the max. Thank you. How does it look now, actually? Yeah. Oh, yes. God, that is a horrible, horrible place to be there. Oh, man. I'm thinking surface-wise. Remember, we want to do all the customization. So, underneath. If we go underneath all of this. All right, so there's your surface underneath. So, I'm thinking textures. We'll give it, we'll give it some custom textures. So, I'm thinking... Ooh. I mean, a Venus texture. Maybe a Mercury and a Venus. I mean, that could be quite a good combo, so. How do those two come together there? You can see the craters of Mercury are already bashed in there. Let's have a sort of, yeah, good sort of 50-50 sort of between the two textures there. So you can see. Oh, yeah, that's looking pretty, pretty bad looking. Oh. Horrific world to live on, that's for sure. Or even attempt to go to, because that is just... Very, very difficult conditions to work with to even uh, possibly to be able to survive on that. I mean, there's no... The surface... To forget the solid surface, there isn't a solid surface. It's all liquefied, apart from this northern area here. There is not much going on. 
that's the Venus texture mixed in there as well. So yeah, good mi a mixture of Mercury and Venus combined. That gives you quite an interesting... How that has a polar cap, I do not know. That's obviously a visual glitch. We'll just switch those off. Yeah, that shouldn't have any ice and snow. You know, when your average temperature is 900. So not looking too great. And then base colour. Um, where are we? It's... Oh yeah, colours, isn't it? This is slightly different now, the way they've changed it. We want custom. There you go. So... I think blacked out will look pretty monstrous and maybe um some sort of darker brown mixed in there as well that's gray isn't it so yeah just a deep sort of grayish shade mixed in there maybe make the black a little more on the gray side of things a little little lighter there again it's not going to be a pretty looking world that's for sure so an extremely hot vile scorched earth there pretty much so, not looking too great at all. Remember, it has this atmosphere. We can slot that back on as well. So, let's do that. There's your cloud. All oh, the clouds look really... Yeah, that, I think that looks good, actually. That That's a cool-looking one. And just with the, the ray light scattering here. Oh, I do like... I think that looks even better. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that is a monster. Just... Oh. Yeah, that's looking pretty nasty-looking. The, the storm clouds. I think the storm clouds are a nice addition to it, actually. So, I'm going to stick with that. Oh, I don't know, though, because I really do like the the more bluer look. I, I'm going to stick with the blue. I'm going to stick with the blue. I do like the other one, but I'm going to stick with the blue. I do think that just looks like a really inhospitable world. And, yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a good start to what we're trying to achieve here. So maybe we have a almost like a hot pink kind of look to it, actually, for the trail. So there you go. I think that matches it quite nicely. So first planet away from Demo Bear, and already a world that is just... Hardly, it's just getting withered away by the second, actually, by this star. So, not looking too great, right? So, next planet out. So, there are going to be quite a lot of scorched worlds in here, but I'm thinking we'll go a little further out this time because there's also got to be cold worlds. There's going to be worlds that are going to be just way too cold. So, I'm going to go with a 600 AU. So, we're going to go on the edge of the zone there. I'm going to place it there. And this, in theory, is going to be the exact opposite of what we've just created. So it's going to be a extremely cold, inhospitable world. Because it doesn't have to be hot. Even though it's around a dangerous star, there's still going to be stuff far enough away where it's not going to be hot at all. So if we just run simulation, put it straight to zero, because this should be easily losing temperature at this point. Yep. Okay, so. Let's go in here. Right, so base color. So I'm still not used to these new controls yet, so it needs to go custom. There you go. Right. Already got like a nice sort of blue look going on here. Maybe uh, some whiter patches in the zone there. Okay. Quite like the little addition of the blue. Let me make that a little brighter. Almost representing some sort of icy surface. There you go. Now, remember, we're in the new update. So we have access to methane. So we can have methane oceans on this. So I'm going to start adding little blobs of methane in there and see how this. So this should be. Is that a gas right now? This needs to be a liquid. So it needs to cool down. So let's just run the simulation. This atmosphere hopefully should disappear. So I'm, I don't, honestly, I'm, I don't understand some of the characteristics yet. I have not had enough practice. So I'm sort of learning this as, as you guys are as well watching this. So I want liquid methane. So ideally, well, it's contained a lot of methane, isn't it? Right. So let me just come to need. So what is actually on the surface right now? I want to see the liquid. So it's not a liquid right now. Okay. So the question is, how do we make it a liquid? So Titan's what? Minus 100 and something, isn't it? So if I do minus 100. I think it's minus 100. So I want to see, where's my where's my sea levels? So that's what I'm looking for. So it has this methane. Where, where are methane, methane, methane? Yes, so it's contained a lot of methane. Now, how do we get that to translate onto the surface? Materials, elevation, because I have no idea where the sea level button is now. So that's composition. Then we have surface. Interesting. Okay, so they're the same value there. Liquid mass, that's it. Remove this. That's what I'm looking for. Liquid mass. We want liquid methane. So we start adding this. So can we can we increase this? If I just pause it. Okay, so why is that not letting me do that? Maybe I just need to do this. Aha! There we go. Right. That's what I want. I want a, I want a methane ocean. Maybe a whole world of methane ocean. I mean, that could be pretty wild. 
So I don't know where the settle ocean button is now. Okay, there it is. So melt, settle, settle liquid. Okay, there you are. Right, and then we can just change the sea level. So patches of methane oceans. Now, does that actually run? I just don't want it to run out of me. Yeah, ooh. The methane's looking pretty cool. Right. That looks to be okay then. Is that is that going to... Okay, so that's stay. Okay, so that's keeping its atmosphere. Awesome. Or not atmosphere, so that's keeping its liquid. We're not losing it. So perfect. Okay, so we've got a methane oceaned world. So these new elements are already added. Just so many possibilities for customization. I'm loving it already. So zero likelihood. That's exactly what we're after there. Nice big flat ocean there. Um, oh yeah, look at that hazy atmosphere for sure. Yes. Uh, we're gonna just thin out a bit though. Oh, give it a proper Titan looking. Yeah, because of the two-tone as well. Look, the blue and the orange. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I do like... Oh. Man, you could make some really cool titans with these. Or titan-inspired objects, because that is already seriously looking really, really cool. Right. Now, how thick do I want it? Because I, I want the I want the surface to be kind of visible, so I have it quite as a thick haze. Uh, how, how does this look? So... Yeah, definitely all the way on the gauge, I think. And then also we can change this colour as well. So, how do I... How does this look if I just start changing the colour? Oh, extremely red. I'm thinking maybe more the white. I think the two-tone just looks best when you put it as white, actually. So, I think that is looking pretty awesome. I'm loving that. I find that looks really good, actually. So... Minus 90. It's warming up. Maybe we'll be a little further distance. So let's just um, buff it up a little further. So let's just get it out of the zone. So it's nowhere near in the zone. So that'll lose it some temperature. I would give it a slightly eccentric orbit as well. Why not? So let's uh, give that a go. Yeah, yeah. I think something like that could work. Just, just a tiny bit of eccentricity. Just to give it a little more uniqueness at its distance um orbit mode yeah and then we'll give you a nice orange uh, trail to work with there yeah that's looking great and then just underneath as well i just want to make the actual surface color different so i'm thinking maybe more of an orange orange theme to it maybe oh yes kind of like a dark sort of maybe like a dark sort of dirt brown it's almost like what titan in theory would have is something like a Sort of deep orange kind of shade there, but mixed with the whites as well. I think I'll I think I'll roll with that. Clouds. Oh yeah, the clouds as well. well. I'm thinking for this object, I'm gonna go with double thick. I think. Yep. And then switch them all the way up. Looking great. Do like that. I really like the two tone on that. I think that looks really really cool actually. So I'll let you guys be the judges. How do you what do you think of that? I think that is a great looking world and that just leads to being able to create something like that with a two-tone atmosphere using the ray light scatter in here this just opens the door for so many cool customized objects so very very pleased with the way that's looking so far let's just quickly do a check up on this guy as well how are we doing over here oh yeah oh hoo -hoo. 800 now why is it all gone white what's going on here is that just the atmosphere doing that oh my gosh <laughs> what has happened to you oh it's just the atmosphere being extremely fit oh i don't remember turn that up to 100 oh there you go put it back to where it was that's better. Did I turn? It? I didn't. I didn't turn it up to hundred, did I? Let me just check. It's not like a glitch between two different objects, is it? No, that's fine. That's really weird. So we've got polar opposite sort of design so far. You got the hot scorch world, and then you got the cold methane ocean uh, design. So looking good. So let's just fit, get a little thinner. But yeah, I'm loving that two tone design. I think that looks great with this guy as well. So that's just a look at the uninhabitable state of you. I mean, that is just. A, Awful, awful place to be. So let's just look at its um, actual 22.3. That's quick. That's really low. Right, so next up. See, I'm thinking gas giant, but gas giant could be a bit cheap, really, because it's already not going to be hatable no matter what. So I think we'll have a few gas giants, but then we'll have moons around them, to which represent the unhatable um, sort of design, I think. So we could go with a nice custom for a hot Neptune kind of look. I mean, actually... Yeah, they could be they could be quite good actually. So, just trying to think what I'm supposed to use. We could use um one of the ones from the recent because uh, I know um you guys seem to really enjoy this and a lot of people asked actually what was your favourite of the two of those exotic gas giants. If I just search 
to well tier. So we've got Avaka and Fasau. So I do want to use these in a system. So I'm thinking this could be the system to use them. So I'm going to put Fasau. We're going to use Fasau. I'm going to have this as a hot gas giant. So we're going to place you quite close to the inner region. So I'm going to put you about 10 AU away, I think, there. I may have to change its mass a bit just to make it cooperate. So it's already a fairly decent size, actually. But yeah, this, this is just a great looking planet. Very happy with the way that's looking. So let's go down here. How are we, how are we doing? So, yes. Yeah, it's a great looking planet. Oh, dear. <laughs> What's going on here? I think it's rotate. That must be its rotation. Why is its rotation so high? <laughs> oh, let's turn that up. Right. Um, there you go. That's better. So this rotation was too... Probably because I made it smaller as well. That probably didn't help. So there you go. So it lost a bit of material there. Right. It's going to increase in temperature very fast. Let's see how it cooperates here. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, that does look cool. I want it kind of on the region where it's not going to be so high. So maybe I'll give it a bit of reflection. Make it quite a reflective world. Because so I do want its actual appearance to remain visible with its cool bands. Let's just see how that how that sorts itself out after some time. So still still quite awesome. Maybe make it quite a reflective world. See how that uh, see how that does. So there you go. So it looks like that now. Still a little too warm. I may give it a little more distance actually. So we're going to double its orbit. I think that'll be a little more comfortable for it. There you go. But I do want the hot clouds to remain because it still is a hot patch of the solar system here. So I'm going to stick with that. Looking good. So we've got a nicely built gas giant for us. Now, moons. We could sort of um, copy the four Galilean moon kind of design. So I'm thinking I will stick with that. Actually, I'm going to give it a slight tilt, kind of like Saturn as well. Or even Neptune. So quite a tilted, tilted world. Now, moons. We'll give them kind of a tilt as well. So... We'll start all the moons from scratch. So, kind of, yeah, I'll kind of be inspired by the Galilean moons for maybe this 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 build here. So, random rocky, or maybe random moons we may have to build for this. So, let's see here. So, first of the first moons, we can always change their masses. I'm going to put one there. Second one down there. Third moon. And the fourth moon in even further distance. So, I'm going to place it like that. So, we'll, we'll use four moons to begin with. We'll see how we do. So, orbit's on. There you go. So, I've given them the tilt roughly to correspond with the gas giant's tilt as well. Cool. And I think this one's already... I'm not too keen on the first orbit. I think it needs to be slightly more uh, modified. So, let's see. How are we doing here? Oh, no. Definitely not. Let's see. Inclination. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so... That's roughly where we want to be. Maybe a little more. Getting these right can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. Just playing with these settings here. That doesn't really do anything. And normally it's just moving it around. It's mainly inclination we need to sort of figure out. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll stick with that. Right, so the first of the moons. So, I'm thinking Io. So, we're kind, of, we're kind of doing this sort of order of Jupiter's moon so far, but obviously the Europa one we won't be able to create, so we'll have to make something new for that. I'm thinking Io and Mars, because we know Mars has the biggest volcanoes, we know, and Io is the most volcanically active body, so combining the two gives you a pretty pretty wild kind of design here. So where, where's Mars's texture? So obviously there's the... there's a, Oh, yeah, there's Mars's volcanoes. So where's some of Io's... Uh, Io's patches there as well? Kind of mixed in with the moons of Mar oh, the um, volcanoes of Mars. There you go. So you can see some Vio sort of patches there. So have them near the uh, volcanoes of Mars. Combine the two textures there. I think that could be uh, quite cool. So there you are. Quite close together. Maybe a little more on the offset there. How's Io's appearance looking? Kind of want to make it a little more visible. Yeah, okay, there you go. So you can still see Mars's four main volcanoes, and you've got Io's patches coming through as well. So, volcanic, pretty much. Or volcanic, to say the least. So, no, no, we want elevation, and then we want... So I still want to use those colour options, and then now this could be very cool to build. Right, so high elevation, I think in black. I mean, it's going to be a volcanic world, so it's not going to be the most uh, prettiest thing, is it? So... Probably quite a dark sort of slate looking well. Maybe maybe like some sort of deep, deep red mixed in there as well. 
it's going to be, I guess it's going to be quite a dark looking world, but maybe a bit of atmosphere could give it what it needs. So I don't think white's really the colour we should go with. Um, how about this elevation? What's that? Ooh. Oh yes, I do quite like the lighter. Maybe if we've got a slightly more orange sort of look to it. Yes. Okay, and um, what about contrast? Oh man, that's some pretty wild stuff. Okay. Exaggerated terrain though, we're gonna turn that up. So you can see Mars' volcanoes pop through a little more. Now that we haven't even put the temperature on this guy yet. <laughs> so once this thing gets hot, it's gonna be a monster. So I'm thinking a thick sulfuric atmosphere here. So I'm going to go straight for here. This now, where is it? Sulfur dark. So I'm going to increase this. And give this a horribly toxic, just unimaginable. So as well as being volcanic, it's going to have just an unimaginable toxic atmosphere built into it, and just an awful, awful place to be. So underneath our clouds. Oh, the red does look menacing, but it's a volcanic world. In theory, black clouds are what we're going for here. Um, thick. Now, atmosphere. I'm thinking it's going to have to be a red one, isn't it? Or possibly something more like that. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, right. That's a little too much. Now, how are we doing with the red? Oh. How does that look if we turn it up? That's a cool view of the gas giant just chilling by. Okay, right. I'm not sure I'm too keen on that, actually. We're going to maybe go over the more... That's the orange side of things. So maybe if I just dim this down a bit. I would love the two-tone. Oh, the two-tone is so cool. Right. But remember the sulfuric? Maybe it has a slightly more of a yellow theme maybe mixed in there. Um, I'm just going to lower that about. Yeah, pasty down a bit more. The clouds... The clouds really do cover a lot of it maybe maybe yes this is sulfuric maybe maybe in theory it has like yellow sulfur kind of clouds so maybe maybe they're a little too thick actually so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lower the opacity of the clouds down and give us something more like this okay now, how does that look now in theory i just want to increase the temperature of this guy so let's just watch as this i want to see how hot this actually goes And we'll sort of work from there, actually. So how hot are you going to go? So this orbit doesn't kind of match the other orbits now. Mm. We can always re-rotate the gas giant a bit just to make them a little more. Now, yeah, it's a little too inclined for my liking, actually. I just want to slightly... Wait, where's our orbit looking? Okay, so where are we? Just want to make it in line with the other moon's orbits a bit more. So maybe the tilt of the gas giant would just need to modify you just a bit. Oh, hang on. A little more like that, just to keep them in line with each other. But yeah, all the moons are slightly out of sync. But yeah, we, we can, um, I can come back to that. That's not a problem. Right, so sulfuric, horrible looking world. I want to see that surface increase. You can see the temperature starting to sear through now. Now that is awesome. And I'm going to give it red city lights to represent volcanic activity. So behind, it's going to have to be red. Uh, always had to be and then just full on red. Maybe a slight mix of orange in there, but already that's looking great. So I don't really need it going any hotter in temperature. So we'll see how that sort of plays out. Nice big patch of lights on it as well. I think that'll look pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with that actually. Okay, cool. Right. Now, if you sit at 300 degrees, that is fine by me. So how hot does it get? I don't really want going any higher than 500 in theory, so we may give it a bit of albedo to make it a little more reflective. Sea level uh, albedo. Okay, so let's double it up to about 0 0.4. See, that's too hot for me. See, look, too hot. Right, so we remember we are close to that big, nasty star, though. So, okay, just we'll just make it more reflective. Maybe it has an unknown element that makes it just extremely reflective. So let's just see how that does. 600, still a little too much of my liking. Let's increase it a bit more. Just so we can see the customization show up a bit more. But either way, it's a very, very nasty little world to be on. Yeah, that, that is a great looking spot for it, I think. Around the 500, maybe a little higher than what I was expecting. So maybe in the 500, high 400 to 500 degrees. I think that gives us a good building platform and a good, a good looking planet there to work with. Now let's look at its stats. 35.5, yeah, okay, that works. 
So a very, very nasty looking one. It rotates quite fast, doesn't it? Let's increase that because it does seem a little too ridiculous. So there you go. 0 0.7 days, so a faster rotator. Um, it's sitting at 18 hours. Yeah, we will stick with you. Okay, so moving on to the next moon now. We can actually see in the background there. It's already uh, not looking too great. So let's hop straight to it. It's actually got a, quite a cool surface texture on that. Look at that. What texture is that using? Cool. Hang on, what's that then? Let's have a look. Planet 5 and 8, Planet 8. That's your combo. Gives you some cool craters. Check that out. We can actually increase those with the um, terrain. Yeah, look at that. Can make it a really just sort of yeah okay looking good let's give it a little bit of the let's have a little look on here as well so how, how are we doing oh yeah that's loads of craters on planet a look at that uh magnitude yeah we'll keep that roughly the way it was uh, how about planet five how are we doing there oh yeah planet eight is the one you want for sure look at that okay i think planet 15 is also a, a, a good one for craters oh it's got loads of craters on it hey okay cool Unless it took material being lost from another object that smashed into it. They look like texture craters to me. Okay, that's looking good though. So, obviously we can't follow the Jupiter moon theme here. We've already got a world that effectively w would be the closest thing to compare to Io. But now, we can't have a Europa. Because that's made of ice. To be honest, it's already looking pretty... Not good <laughs> for temperature and hazardness anyway. I mean, let's have a look. 29.6 is actually as lower than the IO does. So in theory, maybe we leave it the way it is. Maybe, because we can't have them all fancy. There's got to be a few scorched rocks in here without any atmosphere. So I'm actually going to leave that alone. So there you go. Next up, we'd have the moon that would be kind of Ganymede-like. But again, we don't need to have them all as just fancy customised objects. That's such a cool view of the gas giant in the background as well. And then the final moon, maybe we give this guy a little more to it oh it actually hasn't increased yet why is that so 186 degrees right so i'm gonna make this a venus so straight away carbon dioxide increase straight away because we're gonna start seeing temperature increase very fast with this we're gonna see this skyrocket as that carbon dioxide increases and gets added to that atmosphere we're gonna see some serious stuff with this getting too hot so Good. I just want to keep on those. How's that orbit doing? Because I'm just keeping on. These mines may be a little too massive. But actually, it may just decrease. It's only 0. Point... I mean, they're not too big. 0. 0.54. That's that's why. Look at the size of that. 0. 0.54 Earths. Now, why is it not letting me decrease? Oi. Okay, we'll do it. 0. 0.4. What? what? 0. 0.1. That's a bit weird. Didn't want didn't want to decrease the button won't work in there. There you go. That that should that should keep it a little more stable. How, how's out this world doing? This guy may be a little 0 0.9 Earths. We may have to swap those. That may be a little too much. So I'm actually what I'm gonna do is we'll actually make this the larger orbit. Actually make one of these guys the smaller ones. So I'm actually gonna squeeze this guy in here and have the two outer moons as the customized ones. So we'll do this and then do this for you and do something more like that, because then those orbits should be a lot more stable. Looking good. Right. Oh, I'm gonna decrease you a bit more, put more in that zone there. Then we can in theory make this guy a little crunch crunch them in a bit. There you go. Right. So everyone's still visible from each other, which is cool, like the Galileo moons in a way. So you've got the two smaller moons in there, and then the two larger moons further out. Kind of like the actual Jupiter system in a way of its moons. Right, so this guy here, though, so carbon dioxide. Is that water it's got on it? There's, there's, I see ice. No, it isn't water. So what is that white? What exactly is that? Snow, ice, liquid. What is that white texture? That isn't the surface colour, I'm guessing. Oh, it is. Okay, all right. Cool. So, we've added carbon dioxide. Now, this atmosphere yeah, is increasing. All right, so let's let that play out for a bit. Let's see how hot it gets as we're going for a proper Venus thick atmosphere here. So, it can be very white. And then that sort of, yeah, all right, cool. Looking good already. Right, yeah, that's going to be extremely hot. Six, seven hundred, eight hundred. It's gonna, maybe this will be a very high heated world. So, we'll see how that does with extreme greenhouse effect due to its atmosphere. Just adding a bit of we only had, we didn't add that much carbon dioxide. I mean, it's already gone absolutely berserk. Okay, so slow down time. The atmosphere remains. It looks like since this update's come out, because before, when an object reached about six, seven hundred, the atmosphere just vanished. But it looks like now, with this new update, it looks like atmospheres actually stay or remain, which is very good because that just makes customization better. So thick atmosphere, yes, like Venus. Oh, look how oh man, that looks just that looks nasty. <laughs> looks pure nasty right 
the red. It doesn't really matter. Um, thick caps here, no matter what. God, that is just insane. Um, we'll give it a bit of bit of albedo, just because it has clouds. Oh, it's already at 0 0.95, and it's at 1,300. Oh, we may have removed some of that carbon dioxide. That's a little too much. 0 0.1 masses of Earth. Were, oh, wow. Okay, let's halve that. Okay, that should hopefully give it a little more. Yeah, that is just a... We have made a monster. It's still increasing. <laughs> Oh man, okay, we have ruined this thing completely. That is way too much car. It has oxygen on it. <laughs> what? Okay. That is a demon we have created here. Wow, alright. Remove the carbon dioxide. Does it even need carbon dioxide? Oh, yeah, look how much difference it makes. Just having a bit of carbon dioxide on it. Straight down into the 500s by doing that. That is mad. It's okay, let's just give it a little bit. How much effect does that actually make? Because that is... You can see the power of carbon dioxide here. That little bit extra just made all that difference. Look at that. Even just having a bit now. Straight into the 500s. And increasing. 600s. Huge, huge consequences. For just that little bit of carbon dioxide. You can really see the damage it causes. Hundreds of degrees difference. With a star that powerful as well. Remember, you're looking at that. So that is a not a world you want to be messing with. Not a star you want to be messing with. So, okay, this orbit's looking a little wobbly. These guys are both small mass, aren't they? So we'll put white. That's small. And then the second moon is... 0.195. Okay, that's fine. This has more mass than that. It's probably just this world tugging on it a bit. So we'll give it a bit... Yeah, 0. Point. Okay, so we're going to give you a little, little bit further distance. Just a little more breathing space. And then I'm going to stabilise your orbit with an auto orbit. There you go. And then maybe just decrease it a little bit. Let's just pull it, pull it in a bit. There you go. All right, cool. So, let's watch again. So, how are we doing atmosphere-wise, actually? Because that's a bit too... Zero for you. Right, so 100A pasty right now. We're okay. Maybe it's a very white, reflective world. I mean, if I'm building it effectively like a Venus, it's going to be more like this, isn't it? So, it's going to appear quite like that. I mean, already, if that stays the way it is, I'm happy with the way that's looking. I mean, we can always do this or this, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it just being roughly in the middle, so zero. 690 degrees, if you stay with that, that's fine by me. So you've got an extremely hot world there. It's losing material, I'm not surprised. <laughs> but I mean, that's still part of this system. It's not meant to be a nice, friendly place. It is a horrific place, this system. It's not friendly. It's going to be full of stuff that wants to kill you. So, there you go. And it's got some clouds. I mean, again, we're building a Venus-like. It's going to have thick, double thick clouds. Thick and thick. What, what colour can we put them? Blacked out clouds. Red clouds. How are we looking on the gauge here? Again, more we sulfuric clouds, isn't it? So I'm going to stick with that sort of orange. Deep orange look. So if you look underneath the atmosphere now... That's your clouds looking a little too much, but not even just white clouds, really. I mean, that's yeah. I'm gonna stick with white. That works. And they're turned up to the max. Perfect. Good stuff. Looking great. Cool. Now that's a menacing looking, even from behind. I mean, that's just a nasty looking one. I mean, we'll give it some city lights as well, just to add that little extra glow to it if they even come through. Which they don't. <laughs> I don't think I can just about see them there. They are there. Very, very barely visible, but they are in there. That little extra glow to it at the top there. But again, that's an awful, awful place to be. You do not want to travel there. Okay, cool. Right. Um, not enough vegetation. What do I want to do? I want to do this. Yep. There you go. Get that orange. This was the yellow one, wasn't it? Or quote unquote yellow, but so there you go. And then the other two moons are more bog standard, but again, they can't have everything just extremely customized. There's got to be a few, you know, dead ends in there, just generic looking worlds. So there you go. All right, looking great. And their their orbits are all fairly roughly where I want them. That's great as well. Maybe um, our furthest out one. Well, maybe we just need to align you with the orbits a bit more. And then, then we'll keep it. We'll keep it different because they shouldn't all be the same anyway. So looking good. You're still looking good at yeah that 
a horrible looking planet there. All right, go. Cool. <laughs> hey, right, looking good. Right, so there's a there's a gas giant early on in the system there. We still got you. Look at you. Oh my god. What has happened here? Oh, damn, it's absolutely lividly hot. That's pretty crazy. You know, I kind of want an object like this, but even closer. So I may actually give this a little more breathing space and actually have it cool down a bit. Or maybe just make it more reflective, because I'd want an object even closer it's like that, actually. So increase the albedo further. I'm going to go up to 0 0.9. So extremely reflective. Um, and I'm going to give you a little more orbital space as well. I'm going to put you a little more further out. Now, I want something even closer to that that's just going to be just stupidly high. So, random rocky, I'm going to put you... So, it was originally around what, 8 AU, that was. So, I'm going to put it at 3.8. Place you right there. And this is going to be absolutely just berserked on. So, let's watch this play. Oh, yeah, straight away into the 2000s. <laughs> absolute monster. That is a monster. Okay, right. Does have an atmosphere. I'm gonna pull it up to maybe I don't know pre ATM, something like that. Thick atmosphere for sure. Turn it down. Clouds thick and thick. Double thick, yep. Fully maxed out. And just look at the state of that. <laughs> oh man. Maybe a slight I think the blue theme actually looked quite good because it makes it look even more like a scorched reflective on the front. And then ray light, that was all the way down to minus. Yeah, nah. Looking absolutely monstrous. So there you go. I don't think the surface map really matters, but I mean, we can give them a, a slight mix of stuff. Maybe we'll go with a, a moon and mercury or something, just a cratered. Oh, well, it was cratered. But, I mean, in theory, at this temperature, all that surface would melt, so there wouldn't be any texture to look at anyway. So a world that's completely molten all over. You can't get more uninhabitable than something like that. I mean, seven. Seven, and it's still going down. How low can that go? Because I've, <laughs> I've, I don't think I've ever seen anything below five, really, so I'm interested to see how high that goes. I mean, that's a dangerous-looking point there, so... You can't get more uninhabitable than that. Look at the blue at the top. It's still there. <laughs> How's that? What's that all about? I think more of a white would make more sense, wouldn't it? Just a scorched, just ultra-reflective scorched world. I mean, that is just crazy. I mean, look at this. 3,000 plus on the, on the equator there. It rotates a bit fast, though, but we'll slow that down. Tidy, try tidy lock it. Oh, I'm going to tidy lock it. That is not good. Tiny look at it. Where is it? There you go. Done. Play. What's going on? So it cools down on that side. Yes. That's fine. And then the front face is going to get even hotter. 4,000 and increasing probably. We'll see. We're only traveling a few couple of days here. Yeah, that. Oh, look at the distance between day and night. Still 100 at night at the moment, but that is cooling. That is a horrific... Horrific world there. So how how is the next one doing? So the second one out. So again, a similar theme to the first one, but it's yeah, that that's more of a comfortable position. And that's more what I want it to look sort of look like. Maybe a little hotter, but yeah, it looks. It look, and then you can see its customization a little more. I'm going to move it a little closer again, though. I'm just going to decrease that a bit more. So I'm going to put it back to about six point one, or maybe six years, roughly six oh one. Yeah. All right. See how that see how that cooperates. Um, but you, that is just a awful place to be oh make it even more red i mean because now the back of it looks a bit crazy so we want to make it a little more sort of effectively realistic looking so i'm thinking more of a pale pale world more like that maybe i mean underneath oh it looks so good without the atmosphere though oh man we're gonna have to lower that a bit i want some of those clouds visible yeah that's looking better That is an absolute demon world as well. Look at that. But it's gone up because because we've made it tidy locked, so some of it's a little warmer. That's probably why. But the front face is probably even less Earth likelihood. But because it's taken the average of the whole object, it has gone up a bit because the dark side is now is now not as hot. But yeah, well maybe we have to have something even closer where we just try and make it the most uninhabitable thing imaginable. <laughs> but yeah, that's looking just monstrously horrible so clouds definitely white yeah why does black look yeah white um and then surface color doesn't really matter 
You've got that front facing, just horrendous place to be. All right, okay, um, looking good. Now I'm thinking, do we have something even closer? I'm thinking, let's try. I just want to have an experiment. Actually, so we'll see. It's going to be. I'm going to get a random move. It's going to be something just stupidly, something that's almost engulfed by it, right there. Now I don't know. This may just dissolve. I don't know. Um, so it's already small in size, which is that makes height. So you can make stuff even less lifelike if you make it smaller, um, or less Earth similarity. So rotation. We're going to slow that down. We want the whole object to get. We want that all to cover the whole thing. There you go. Cover that whole thing up. Yep. <laughs> Quite a fast rotator. Small in size. 4,000 degrees. That should have even less percentage. Free. Yeah. <laughs> so if I made it even smaller. That may just that may just vaporize. Yeah, I was going to say that. That will make So yeah, just the smaller the size... That will make it even less uh, likelihood. But yeah, okay, I'll leave that. I'm, I'm not going to put one there. That's a bit ridiculous. So I think nothing should be closer than this at this point. That is the all. That is the just the all time just scorched world. So there you go. All right. So that's a good. That's a good build so far. And we got the cold stuff. So we've got more of the hot. I think next episode we'll have to go more of the cold, as we'll call today's um, episode. We'll call it there. I think that's a good start. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and save because I haven't done that yet. And imagine if I didn't. So, uninhabitable. Uh, we'll just call it that because that's exactly what this is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your feedback down below in the comments. Is that a good start? Any changes, additions you think should be added? Any other ones? So we've got mostly hot stuff so far. And then we've got the one methane titan like world at the depths here. Which again has quite, it doesn't have the most, uh, it does look really cool, but we don't have the most life likelihood here. Or well, not life likelihood, Earth similarity, I should say, because it doesn't have any likelihood, does it? Yeah, 67, but again, it's too cold for anything we know, so there you are. But yeah, let me know. More thoughts, opinions on that, let me know for sure. Very interested to hear your feedback on this. But yeah, that all said and done, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press that like button. Let's see if we can go for 150 likes on today's video, guys. So yeah, make sure to press that like button. And also subscribe as well. Help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And if that all said and done, everybody, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.